Hello my friends and welcome back to another video and today we are talking more about the latest patch and DLC from Evil Dead the game. So as we all know Saber always like to put some hidden changes there and they don't tell anyone and it's only by testing and trying that you end up finding out what are the small changes that have happened which might have an impact on the way you play the game. So there's been a post up on Reddit about the stealth changes and everybody's trying to contribute and just make a big list about it. It's not a huge list at the moment but everybody's contributing and it's bound to grow bigger by the day also if you know of any changes that are not listed here please let me know down in the comments the post is by Crythor GA and I have got his permission to do it so thank you very much for this so let's get down to it so first of all as a survivor you can't dodge out of the animation when being revived anymore so previously when the survivor was down and he was being revived by another survivor, you could just dodge out of the animation if you were being attacked. You can't do that anymore. You're stuck and you will take damage if the demon is on you or the AI is on you. You can't dodge traps anymore. It used to happen a lot. I'm, I mainly play with the demon and I would see a lot of survivors dodging the traps before and I, I didn't think it was bad, but now you just can't anymore. Now you fall into a trap, you fall into a trap, you take the damage. And more on traps, if you do a finisher by a trap, the trap will knock you out of the finisher when you trigger it. So if you're trying to do a finisher or just go into a cutscene with your survivor and you fall into a trap, that trap will stop your cutscene. Good to know. Now for the demons, if you possess a survivor, you can't go into the dark ones anymore. A lot of demons will do this and I would do this, you know, so possess a survivor, you take them into the circle and once you unpossess them, they will take some damage from being inside the dark ones because it's almost like a guaranteed hit. So you can't do that anymore. So it's a it was a little exploit that is gone now. So with the plague bringer demon, if a survivor is affected with blight, the health bar will turn green, which means obviously it's blighted. That's quite an obvious one if you are going against a plague bringer or if you are playing as a plague bringer, but I'm surprised that Saber didn't mention that on the on the patch notes. Also really interesting, the basic units from the plague bringer, they will lose the ability to double pierce if one of their arms is dismembered. This is a very nice touch. I like this. And it is only fair because it will happen the same with the Warlord. One of the basic units will lose an arm. You can't rip the other arm to attack, of course. So you will lose that ability. And also with the Elite from the Warlord, if you lost an arm, you can't do one of the attacks. I think it's the ground smash attack that he does. You can't do that one if it's dismembered. So with the power possession HP nerf on the Puppeteer, it went from 95% extra HP, if you're level 45, to 89% via the nerf on the Puppet Grandmaster 1 and 2, which is down from 5% to 2% on each. So a little nerf on the HP there. I still feel the puppeteer possessed units are quite tanky, but that's what it is. And the power possession damage nerf is actually 11% and not 10% like they stated on the patch notes. So it's actually gone down from 25% to 14%. Anyway, this was just a really quick video guys on this. I just thought it was worth spreading the words. And I will leave you here with an absolutely epic finale of the new single player mission with that absolutely fantastic music i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did drop me a like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time